and here goes our crew heading out to enjoy a nice day down here in South Florida out on the water enjoying the boat. Welcome back crew to the greatest show on earth and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host Broncos Guru and today we are back down here at the world famous 79th Street Pelican Harbor boat ramp and here comes our first crew of the day in on approach. So nice angle, good speed. I mean, overall, they look pretty solid on this approach. Cap kind of kicks the stern around, trying to bring them back closer to level with the docks. And it looks like he's brake checked it based on a way I see the boat kind of rolling now. So we've got somebody on the stern trying to get stuff on the ready. And we get somebody off. Oh, he went off onto the dock and he dropped the line. So Cap left the helm to try and grab it. Now we've got a girl on the bow, but it's a little too late. They've slipped off now. Got to watch out for the boat next to him also, who's going to sneak it out just past him. But that was a close call, but they're going to have to try again. So this one's always interesting where you got to be a little observant and kind of analyze the full situation. Like this one here, we watched this boat leave the boat ramp earlier. But there was a different captain behind the helm when they left. Then uh, who's captaining now as they're coming back in? The really interesting part to me though, when they left, nobody had a life jacket on and now they've come back, multiple people have a life jacket on, which is kind of odd. But captain's also got the motor trimmed out a little bit on this one, which is gonna make it a little more difficult to try and get it on the dock. It is a little bit of a windy day down here, but when you've got it trimmed out like that, it makes it tougher to kind of get that prop to bite in and get a grip. But the thing I do remember as well, when they left, it was trimmed a little bit out then also. So I'm guessing they never fully trimmed this thing down in their entire day while they were out there on the water. So here goes Cap. He's gonna go ahead and start to try and make an approach. And the guy in the flower shirt here on the right, that's who was originally captaining the boat when they left. So coming in, slow roll approach, good speed. Actually don't mind the angle either. Just has to be careful with that ladder down back there too, or we'll see a little prop ladder action, which is <laughs> something we've seen several times down here before. And it looks like we've got our girl in the bow. She's got lines on the ready. Cap kind of turns the bow back in toward the dock. And nobody's really going though. Um, here we go. Oh my God, the guy on the side. He almost, I thought for sure he was going to go down for a minute. Started to do the splits as the captain kicked the stern out as he was trying to go around. But he gets off, gets the line. Our girl gets out of the bow as well. And now we've got two people on the dock, but the stern's kicking. The cab's got the engine turned the wrong way. He, well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, he could toss a tap a forward into this, I guess, and... Maybe to kick that stern around, but you're probably also going to slam the bow into the dock at that point. Really needs to turn the engine the other way. Give a little shot of reverse to kind of get this thing back around. But he looks unwilling to do so at this point in time as he just has that engine dead set to that. So there we go. Turning it around, and now we're getting that action. So the boat's slowly sliding back, but our crew on the dock's just struggling. Not really knowing what to do with this line. They're going to have to give a little slack, kick the boat out, and try and pull it around, or pull this line forward to get the boat to come alongside the dock. But instead, they're just holding it tight, and that's not going to work out well for them. And there we go. They're finally starting to walk it up the dock now. And it looks like they finally got it figured out and are heading in the right direction. And, but nobody's going for a stern line to try and get the stern back over. And for some reason, the two people up front still seem to be kind of fighting over that. What is he doing? Cab's trimming the motor out. He's so far away from us, you can't even hear the motor sounds through our camera. So ye us yelling to him is going to do nothing. <laughs> but that thing, I can't believe they can't hear it. When these motors come out of the water, you should be able to hear it on the boat, but... They're just ignoring it. Cap even leaves the helm right here and goes over to holding the dock. What are they doing? And 
our girl's gonna try and get this jet ski put onto the trailer. So she lets the line go. Looks like she just put it, well, I mean, she should be putting it into reverse. It should be on the handle. Oh, hits the dock. And now she's gonna back up. There's a ski behind her as well. And she is drifting that way. And we're gonna hit the ski too. So we've hit the dock, we've hit the ski. Now the question is, can she hit the trailer? So here she goes on approach, kind of a funky angle. Gives it a little gas, gets it to straighten back out here at the last second though. And she should be good. And our crew's coming in and approaching, I believe it's five. Cap tries turning it in. He's gonna get the stern to come in on the dock. They just hit the dock there. I saw the boat move, which tells me they wound up hitting it. And now Cap's missed. The bow's kicking around. Oh, he's gonna back into the dock too. Oh, careful. And winds up backing into the dock. What are you doing, Cap? And he gets it back into forward gear. He's gonna have to try and set this one up again. So Cat puts it in the reverse. I probably would have circled all the way around on that one if it was me to try and just get myself a complete fresh start. But no, he's gonna go for the reverse tactic, try and bring it back around, and see if he can swing the bow around and get this one put up. So back into forward gear and back toward the approach on the dock. This time we're gonna go with a heavy bow first approach, but there's nobody up there, I don't believe, to try and do anything with the lines. Only got his girl here on the back. <laughs> he winds up kind of right there on the dock again. She's gonna go for the hop and there we go. She'll get it off, but not after our guy winds up completing the double tap, hitting the dock the first time, and then backing into it. And she's gonna go ahead and grab these lines, finish it up, and they'll be good to get out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hullover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got Boats vs. Hallover, where Man and Machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.